What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Now, today we're going to be talking about something I actually meant to talk about last night, and we didn't, unfortunately, get around to it. Um, but the new heroic trial, the fourth and final heroic trial uh, for basically for the collab event is here. This means if you need a bond of either Kojo or uh, what is his little girl, his little sister's name, uh, I can't remember now her name. Oh my goodness, it's going to kill me. Anyway, if you need a bond for either one of them, this is a great opportunity to acquire those. Now, I will say, as always, if Nagisa... There you go. I even just watched the show is a stupid part. I'm literally watching the show right now to get up to date on this, and I completely forgot her name. That's the dumbest thing ever. I digress. If you need a bond of Nagisa, I would do her over Kojo, only because, as good as he is... If you've got any of the more recent units, she's spectacular. Counter rate plus 20%. That's going to help out a lot, especially especially with Yukina's uh, counter ability. Uh, thunder attack damage and wind attack damage, all of 20%. This is a fan... I believe this is the first unit in the game, actually, that's done 20% on two uh, independent element skills. So it's really, really, really good. And for the counter rate to be 20%, that's spectacular. Actually, did he do 20%? Uh, he might have. No, 15%. So yeah, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, then let, I'm sure somebody's going to correct me in the comment section. I believe she's the first assist that's done two independent elements at 20%, which is spectacular, especially being the new, uh, new events. But let's talk about this because this is stupid. I mean, stupid easy. So the team I'm going to take in here is my Earth team. Now, you can take your wind team, um, by all means. If you've got a single target wind team that's killer, bring them in here. They're going to wreck house. But for me, I'm going to bring in this team. Now, the main thing I want you to pay attention to is Wiene, because her survival is proof of how simple this event is. So let's go ahead and make sure that they have all their armor. Uh, I don't need seal on them, so... We're just going to give them all basic attacks. And let's go in here. Now, wind or uh, wind or earth will work just fine. You don't really need to worry about that. That said, earth team does seem to kill this pretty darn fast. Uh, only because of how long it takes the uh, wind team to power up. But as you'll see here, it really doesn't matter too much. I mean, it really is not that big of a deal. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do Earth Resist on that one, Strength on that one, and uh, Single Target Debuff here. And let's go. All right, turn two. We're just going to come out of the gate with some big attacks. I'm going to go ahead and buff her and her now. Uh, basically, we need Wine's because uh, we don't have Haruhime here. We need her HP regen on this. Uh, otherwise, we could be in a pretty big world of hurt but it's really not that big a deal uh let's see i think he busts strength of this turn but i don't recollect whatever i'm gonna go in here guns are swinging with her big attack lego all right there we go now notice that every other turn you're gonna do like zero damage on one of your hits that's because he's doing that skill where he nullify has a 75 percent chance to nullify one hit so don't let that frustrate you just basically smack him straight through it just go to town on him okay now we'll need to rebuff the strength buff with uh aisha here but it's really not gonna be that big of a deal and um this turn i'm gonna go ahead and do yeah let's do that uh i'm gonna do uh not rd what is her name oh i'm so bad with names right now uh lyra i'm gonna do lyra's Single target attack. Not that it's going to do great. Um, we've debuffed physical. Well, actually, Magic got a bigger debuff. So, yeah, it should be all right then. So, we'll go ahead and do her single target. We're going to do his single target. We're going to rebuff Aisha because, remember, when she does skill three, she uh, wipes out her strength buff. And I'm going to go ahead and do this with uh, Wiene to make sure that we keep buffs replicated. Pretty straightforward stuff. It does hurt that Otaro's big attack got nullified. That I don't like. But, yeah. 
Uh, I don't think 60% is worth. I'm going to continue doing that, and I'm going to do Aisha's big attack, only because that lets her strength buff stay until next turn, and I really feel like next turn we can finish this off. So let's do that. We're going to do Aisha's, uh, basically her SA, and then, because we just rebuffed her strength anyway, that means the next turn we get her strength buff, and we'll probably finish it next turn, if not pretty darn close. Now, I, I hear tell there's a way to actually beat this in two turns. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, no, he's done. Later ner That damage nullification is really annoying. Neither here nor there. He's done on this turn. Whatever. Turn five. Probably would have had it turn four, but whatever. Turn five did the trick. So I hear tell there's a way to do this in two turns. I have not found that myself yet, but, uh, I mean... You saw it was really, really, really close to a four-turn finish, so. And probably a lot of that has to do with maybe I don't have somebody's weapon ascended or something of that nature. I may not have a, an optimal weapon on somebody. But nevertheless, it is a really, really, really simple, simple event. I'm going to do this one more time just because, see if we can get that turn four finish out. Not that it matters, but I'm really, really, really close to finishing this up. So let's just do one more and see what happens here. Now I want to say I am debuffing first and foremost with uh, Lyra and with Wiene, and that's just to get more damage out there. And then buffing with our main two DPSs, which are of course going to be Otaro and Aisha. And make no mistake, they are our DPSs, 100%. These two are wild and crazy, and you're not going to be able to stop them. So... On turn two, we're going to go ahead and do buffs with uh, Wiene and with Lyra. There we go. Now, I didn't talk about the assists that I'm using, but I am actually using the free-to-play Hestia Earth Assist, uh, only because I feel like she's kind of going to be like the next best situation for most of what we're doing here. Ooh, those zero attacks are hurting us. We're not getting counters with those zeros. My defenses actually might be a little too high, as weird as that is to say. Alright. But he's done on this turn. This essay is going to kill him 100%. Boom. And boom. Bye-bye. No? No? He's hanging on by a thread? Nullifying Otaro's big attack. Okay, so that's the turn four finish. So that's very, very good. Actually, I like that. I can I can handle that. So one more time to talk about the assists and the armor since I didn't get to do that. Um, Assist-wise, literally I'm just using uh, the 33% SA gauge charge uh, with um, Finn, and that's just to get the turn four SA. I might not even need that. There might be even a faster way to do it. I haven't really worked on that yet but then obviously on uh, Lyra I am using the single target damage Asfi uh, on Aisha I am using the Apollo that reduces physical resistance and then on Wiene I'm actually using the free to play Hestia she's free to play that does earth attack damage 10% there are better units to use in those situations um, probably I should remove Finn and put on an earth debuffer and then put on another earth Earth buffer, but I personally found I really don't have a good selection of those. Um, I haven't buffed any of mine up, to be honest with you. But this is kind of what I'm using for now. You probably have better assists than I do because my Earth team has kind of been lacking a bit. So that's what I'm using. But even at that, you know, in fact, I could take Finn off of here. I believe the only other Earth debuffer I have. Uh, I believe it's her... Yeah. So your attack damage down 7%. I mean, I could do that. I don't think it's going to it's gonna change a whole heck of a lot. But I just don't have too many other Earth buffs or debuffs in my arsenal. So it's kind of the best possible scenario for me, at least. There we go. Now we'll go into doing our main damage. Get these two buffed up. 
There we go. Now you will notice Lyra is really low on health here. So we really, really, really need to uh, have the, uh, the big heal there on her on turn three or else she's dead. But to be fair, it's not going to make a huge difference if she dies. It just means we're not going to get the S clear. So I'm not losing sleep, really. There we go. We're getting good counters this time around. So almost... I can actually see in turn... If you have good assists, which I do not have, unfortunately, I could definitely see a turn four finish. But the problem is, notice, I don't get my SA on this turn. So we're really, really, really reliant on the amount of damage that we can produce here and counters. But we still got the turn four finish out, so... It's a matter of how you opt to do it. But for me, that's going to be the video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section. I'm going to go fight my uh, capture card, apparently. That's going to be fun. Like, comp... All right, capture card and I are in a fight. Like, comment, share. I'll be back at you guys uh, with a hammer and a capture card, apparently, really soon. We fighting, capture card. We fighting hard. <laughs>